not happy. So I've just gone and fucking recorded a fucking hour of this and it didn't save. It was like, oh, oh, fucking not responding. Like it's my fault. And then it's closed it without even giving me the option to wait. And it's gone and deleted my fucking footage of all of this shit. So now I'm having to do it all over again. That's an hour of my day that's just fucking gone by. I'm not happy. I thought I was going to come back. Because I, I was quit. I've quitted my YouTube channel, right? It's because shit like this keeps happening. I'm recording videos. And then I'm getting people like, oh, why, why aren't you uploading? Why aren't you doing this? I fucking can't. Because it's fucking shit. Because it's deleting the shit that I'm recording. Oh, I'm actually done. Oh, I fucking give up, man. So no, I'm, I'm not happy. I don't mean to sound like I'm angry at you guys, but I'm fucking livid. Here, over the last couple of days, entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, JT. Yo, sorry. Looks like we're in a good mood today. I'm not. I'm really fucking not. I'm just uh, still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's pretty much a simple thing to get in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things uh, with you anyway. So I don't even know if I'm fucking reading it right. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Yeah. It's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Harry? Uh, all of a sudden. Uh, no reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sarah nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets open again. Then she turns it upside down and the, and the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have gone and bought to buy snacks before coming to the club room. So either you, you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take go on a walk, or you planned to conveniently forget that you, that you spent all your money in your purse so that I'd lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that that only leaves one option. I'll give up. I don't, don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Uh, uh, Yuri suddenly giggles. Uh, I didn't notice that she was listening. Her face is always in a book, as, as always. Uh, I was listening. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell JT to borrow, let me borrow some money. That's don't get me involved in that, Sayori. Besides, you should uh, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous, mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough. A, re a retribution. Uh, whatever. Uh, don't I just, I don't mean it like that. I got two of them in my book. Uh, huh. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much. It's the fun side of you. That's that's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad and I have to accept the revolution. Uh, retribution. That. Still coming for you, Sayori. Uh, I guess there's a little, still a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Huh. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's talking about. After all, uh, she told me to bring you guys uh she told me she told you guys she was bringing me to a club before she even told me but you wouldn't have come if it wasn't for the cupcakes so i had to trick that suit into making them come on jt you can me more credit than that I'm pissed off, but that was still funny. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks so really in the face and tumbles into the. Because I, I kept, I kept going on about like something bitch slapped her. I thought someone bitch slapped her, and I, I, I was laughing for five minutes. Now I'm not. Now I'm fucking crying in misery. What was that? Uh, a cookie. <laughs> sure enough, it was a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. So he glances around. Is, is this a miracle? because I paid my restoration retribution I don't know what the fuck I'm reading actually that almost worked uh -huh. I was just gonna give it to you but then I uh, heard you blab about the cupcakes it was uh, totally worth seeing your reaction though uh, Natsuki uh, that's so nice of you to slap me around the face for fucking cookie I'm so happy Sayori hugs the cookie geez just eat it uh, Sayori rapidly tears open the wrap and takes a big bite uh, show good mmm uh, so really suddenly claps her hands over him. Uh, uh, whatever. I bit my tongue. 
Uh, you're going through a lot, just over one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own. Uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, uh, beggars can't be choosers. But yours is a chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that, uh, the other one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Uh, so he gets around us. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Sorry, gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, uh, then wraps her arms around her. Uh, jeez, I get it, I get it. Uh, cookies in hand, Natsuki reaches up to snatch it. What are you Um, uh, Sorry, suddenly that uh, lean stand takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Uh, hey, did you seriously just do that? Uh huh. Uh, mouthful, Sari chops away to safety. Oh, he's a fucking killer. Uh, Yuri and I laugh as well. You're such some kids. Uh, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Uh, let's see, glances around. Yeah, Monica's not here. Uh, she's in the classroom. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard about uh, being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't heard that. Mm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just uh, had something to do today. She's probably pretty pop She's pretty popular after all. Uh, you don't think she she has a... Uh, wouldn't be surprised. She had, probably has a desirable more than us combined. Uh, yeah, that's true. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super, super, um, super sorry. Are the, are you all there? I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Uh, Monica tries to pub after over her boyfriend. After all, uh, you're so strong-willed. Uh, but boyfriend, what on earth are you talking about? Monica physically glances at me. Don't look at me, bitch. I'll fucking backhand you one. Uh, never mind that. Uh, what held you up anyway? Uh, uh well, my last uh, period. It was a uh, study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ha, <laughs> uh, that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have noticed. Uh, I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano, uh, I wasn't aware you played music in Monica. Uh, I don't really. It's kind of just, I, I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should uh, play something for us, Monica. Yeah, Skrillex, Bangarang. Uh, that's Monica looks at me trying to trying to be cray. Uh, maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay, uh, that sounds cool. And I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, JT. Monica smiles, flexy through the back. Uh, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. Sorry, this is shit commentary, isn't it? I'm sorry, but I'm fucking livid. I'm beyond pissed off. I don't know why she's looking at me, but I'm fucking pissed off. You know, I, I wanted this to be fun. You know, I, I come back after two months. It's like, hey, you know, I'm back. You know, uh, uh, yeah, I, I kind of couple, took a couple of weeks off. You know, I wanted a break. It's just watching, you know, you know, the whole Walking Dead series. You know, you know, you know man, you know, see, from the whole first, um, oh, fuck, what's it called? Not chapter. The whole, is it? series or oh, whatever I was watching the first to third series or whatever the fuck they're called I, I watched the first to third something not episodes but yeah um and yeah no I kind of just took a long time off and that's why I was gone for so long but yeah now I, I can't even fucking smile while doing this um and I I can't do a fake laugh at the things I found funny about an hour ago because they're not funny anymore because I'm livid. I'm fucking pissed off. I mean... This is probably why I quit my YouTube channel. Because I was like, I actually quit for a time. And it wasn't like, oh, I just took time off and I was like, yeah, I'll come back. Nah, I generally, I quit. Oh, I've only just come back and I regret it. Because then I just had that shoved in my face and pulled out my ass. So, yeah, I am not happy, buddy. Um, yeah fucking livid it's always me it happens to I suppose I don't really know when it happens to other people because I don't have any friends do I no one talks to me so All right enough about depressing shit about my life let's just be just get on with it yep uh, I've been practicing a whole lot recently and I'd really love to the chance to share once I'm ready I see in that case best of luck thanks uh, I didn't so I didn't miss anything did I no not really apart from the fucking cookie that bitch slapped Fucking Monica. No, 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 that's Monica. Sayori? Yeah. Um, 
I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuka will end up complaining to her anyway. Uh, it looks like everyone has already settled down. Uh, Sayori somehow uh, already finished her entire cookie. Uh, Yuri is back to her book. Natsuka disappeared. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. Uh, I slumped down to the nearest do uh, desk. Uh, how am I supposed to occupy myself with someone literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some uh, some of the book y Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling uh, a little too tired to read. Uh, I could probably fall asleep right now. I'll close my eyes and end up listening into Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to see seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. Uh, the, the problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. Uh, but it's not like it's not like that at all, you know. Hang on. This is different. Hang on, no, no, this is different. I didn't read this one before we just need a way of showing that to everyone uh someone that speaks to their creative mind i didn't read this before mm, that doesn't solve the problem though yeah what do you mean even if we come up with the most fun thing ever nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event so it's more important to figure out uh how to get people to show up in the first place you know and then after they come we can we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. Was this Sayori is talking this really seriously? I never fucking read this, what? It's rare to hear her deliberately like this. Uh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? And what kind? Well, I guess we could cupcakes. Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Uh, you're right, Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. The works out that works out properly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcake speaks to my creative tummy. Um, cupcakes, it is then. Uh, I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual. It's different. It, are they meant to be? Di is it meant to be different? But the. Uh, but they're in like but therein lies the unexpected reason I admired her. And like me who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sari can put her mind to things and make them come to life. Uh hang on, is my good, right, my mic is plugged in. It'd be fucking lippy if it wasn't. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder uh, what it, it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Yeah, no, no, I, no, I didn't. What the fuck? I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I need to fall out my chair. Uh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going. Uh, gonna have less time for anime, you know You'll need to get used to it Don't say that too loud Don't do whatever I glance over my shoulder to see Monica overhead. It's true though. Yeah, I know I know You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Uh, that's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than I uh, better than you look out for yourself. Hang on There's proof so I no fucking clue. Cause that that never happened through this. It it never happened. It just it didn't fucking happen. You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Uh, you're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, no, not every day. Hang on. How many days uh, this past week have you gotten up on time? Uh, that's, it's a secret, I knew it. Come on, at least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori isn't written all over you. 
uh, Sayori glanced around herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Uh, look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I rub my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's uh, more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste. There's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there, right here. I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you because they don't want you to. Don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Uh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Great. 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 Why is my head tilted sideways? Great. Right. Yep. This is so far. Uh, yep. What is. Well. I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Uh, shut your fucking mouth. Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Ah, oh, fucking take my hands away and I'm gonna go wash those motherfuckers. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is uh, this one so hard to close? Uh, I struggle to f fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing ever even fit you properly? Uh, well, when I bought it, uh, if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner than that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my oh fuck off! Don't say that out loud. Uh, anyway, he looks much better now. Uh, why does it feel strange to see uh, Sayori's blazer button up like that? Oh, I don't button up the blazer. Make sure that oh, fucking weird. All those pink things are eyes. Wash your eyes. But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sorry, um, hastily unbuttons her blazer once. Oh fuck off. Phew, that's so much better. Sorry, puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it like it's a good thing? Because. If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't uh, even let you do things like this. Oh, you creep. Oh, you faggot. And you take care of me much better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Uh, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake, uh, trying to wake up a little earlier. Uh, only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Uh, I guess you really are... Uh, better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of each other uh, ourselves fuck me yeah I guess so huh so maybe you should come wake me up in the morning you're doing it again Sayori oh, oh, but I was joking that time man it's impossible to tell with you sometimes okay everyone oh, uh, I... Monica suddenly calls out why don't we share the poems we write now okay yeah no I think it's gone back to normal yeah uh, JC, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retreat. You can tell, because uh, in the fucking beginning, I was reading quickly, because I, I read that, and then it just, it stopped. It, I don't know, why has it changed? Because it, it got to the point where like, I was making tea with Yuri, and going out to fill, uh, like, the... The basin, no, the drain, and the filter, like a filter thing, and she, she, like, pretty much told Monica to fuck off, and then felt bad and banged her on a wall. Retrieve a poem. <sighs> she was enthusiastic about that shit. So, oh my goodness, uh, this is so good, JT. Uh, I love it, especially after yesterday's poem. Uh, uh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. Uh, you mean two months ago, not yesterday. Uh, no, but really. 
I want to put this on my wall. Can I? Say sorry, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I don't. I just fucking click the same spot. Maybe that's why. Because I have uh, no idea uh, what I like either. Jeez. Uh, uh, I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure uh, you didn't like it just because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure it's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So, when I read your poems, it's not just a poem, it, it's a JT part, right? And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sari hugs the sheet against her chest. It's fucking paper, what are you doing? It's so weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes you feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure what exact. I'm not even sure. I'm not. I'm not very good at reading. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess uh, conveying feelings is pretty important. Conveying uh, important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know uh, what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Oh, maybe it's because of the things that I picked, it changed the story. Uh, uh, why don't you at least try giving it to someone, though? Uh, you want to write something for me? Uh, that's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. Oh, did I choose, like, more words that she liked? Oh, maybe. Right. I wasn't going to anyone in particular, I kind of just went random. You need to th uh, think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt. At some point, uh, well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll, uh, I'll try to keep it in mind. Uh, well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess it's happy poems. Uh, wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Uh, sometimes a bit of both. I like neither. I fucking hate poems and I don't read. Uh, there's a word for that, right? Yeah, wank. Absolute wank content. Uh, just on my channel. Yeah, like, subscribe in the next five seconds, or I'll fucking. You, your granddad will die tomorrow. I hate people that do like in the next five seconds. I can't fucking stand them. Uh, bittersweet, yeah. Uh, I like thing. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Not my YouTube channel. Let's uh, take away the happy, happy and sad. Uh, I can't see you liking something sad. So anyway. well, I'm happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain crown above your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow sorry that's un unexpectedly poet poetic uh, is it maybe I'm getting uh, better expressing my feelings after all thanks JC uh, I should go write that down then uh, you can read my poem now okay oh, no. bottles I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar it's the secret place uh, it's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger <laughs> oh, and pluck one out. It's warm and tingling. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Um, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles in a row. Uh, my collection makes me feel, uh, makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save my day, uh, save the day. Uh, night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, uh, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, and my fingers go. <laughs> like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging. Scraping, scraping. I blow the dust off my bulk. <laughs> it doesn't feel uh, like time elapse. Uh, my empty shelf could. My empty shelf could use more. My friends look through uh, my lock door, my lock front door. Finally, we die. Oh, fuck, tired, man. Finally, all done. I. 
I open up and my friends and in come my friends in they come in such a hurry do they want my bottles <laughs> that much I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other holding them out to each and every friend each and every bottle but every time I let one go it shatters against the tight uh, tile between my feet happy thoughts happy thoughts happy thoughts in shards all over the floor they were supposed to be for my friends uh, my friends who aren't smiling uh, they're all shouting pleading something but all I hear is echo 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 inside my head okay oh, I don't know what that means that holy crap sorry did you really write this no I bought it off Craigslist of course there's uh didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, it's a bit shit. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me the whole. <sighs> and I, I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that it's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being, uh, so used to you being so cheerful. Uh, well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, I came out, uh, came out good. So you should be proud of that. Oh, thanks. I feel like, I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. Uh, it even helped me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Uh, writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty uh, passionate about this. Um, I hope you keep it up. Yeah, uh, writing's the best. I'm going to keep writing until I die. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Uh. So I always had a habit of getting obsessed with uh, something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those. I'm not going to edit this video. Oh, I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to put a fucking. Uh, uh, no, as soon as I stop recording, I'm going to save this motherfucker, right? And I'm going to. I'm going to put. I'm going to put my outro on it, and that's it. Right, I'm gonna fucking send it. I'm gonna get a thumbnail. Right, I'm gonna send that shit off. Okay, I'm sorry that this video hasn't been cheery and it's been quite shit. I'm really sorry. I, I the, the 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 video that I um that I recorded before was quite you know I, I was laughing quite a lot, um, especially when she got bitched at by a cookie. Um, and shit, and I was reading things wrong, and it was just, it was funny, but, yeah, no, nah, it's not, you guys can't have that now, and neither can I, because, this motherfucker don't like me, I wonder if one of those times, uh, seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic, I got the image, okay, let's see what you've written for today, hmm, this is pretty good, JT, were you influenced by seeing everyone's writing styles yesterday? I guess you could say that. I was also a bit surprised by how differently everyone writes. So I respect you for trying new things. Uh, you don't need to be afraid to be a little bit more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Uh, try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see in here. That's uh, one way to truly enable your reader to see your to see into your mind it's very in, intimate exercise i see that's a certainly interesting technique thanks for sharing i have um well an example of that if you like to read it of course is this the poem you wrote for say yuri nods and timothy hands over the poem the raccoon it happened in the dead of night while i was uh, slicing bread for a guilty snack my attention was caught by the uh, scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. Uh, that was, I believe, for the first time I noticed uh, my strange tendencies so, um, as an un un me, a what? An ordinary human. I, like, I can't read that. Uh, I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My sus like, subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that the raccoon that was fed will always come back for more. Uh, I and the exciting beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread was my curiosity. The coon was an urge. Uh, 
for moody increasements, it's a phase and reflects that much more light of cutting my uh, cutting off light off of my cutting knife. Uh, the same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited, or perhaps uh, I'm merely projecting my emotions into a newly satisfied animal. The raccoon was has taken to following me. Uh, I guess you could say we've got quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry and more and more and more frequently. So my bread is always handy every time. Every time I. Uh, banish my cutting knife the cream shows me its excitement a rush of blood uh, classic uh, hello well, I, don't know, I can't read gully gully right in uh, condescending I slice the bread and I feed myself again is that it um I was a, a little more daring with this one than yesterday. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit uh, closer to my preferred writing style. Uh, you, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and uh, com conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I could take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it is, uh, what it's supposed to mean. Uh, well, I think something that uh, different people can relate to in their own way. Uh, I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge um, in more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep uh, to myself, so sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Uh, why do you keep them to yourself? because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Uh, don't you have anything like that, JT? Well, uh, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little uh, has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individuals, even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own uh, weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I won't be renting. A little bit now, uh, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Fuck that, I'm leaving that there. Oh, thank you for watching. Oh, just pissed off the first one. This because this has been a shit episode. I'll come back after two months, and I had a good, I, I had good video, right? Fucking gone. So, apologise. The next video will be a bit more cheery. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this, uh, and yeah, I will uh, see you in the next video, in a bit. Oh, yeah, no, um, sorry, I almost forgot to say, uh, if I can just, uh, this is Speen. Thought that was necessary. Okay, uh, yeah, so if you like the video and you want to see more, uh, consider subscribing, it's free, you can always unsubscribe. Um... Also, I'm not going to ask for likes because the like button means nothing, doesn't improve your video. It just, it's literally, all it does is it just tells you who liked the video and who didn't. It doesn't boost ratings, it does fuck all. So, I don't care about the like button. Obviously, I, 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 it's nice to see the like button being pressed and not the dislike button. But then that's just, that, that's, that's just how it is, isn't it? So, yeah, again, uh, thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.